Okay, sorry, I was muted, y'all. Good morning. How's everyone doing? Where are, we, where are you joining me from? Big day, big announcements, a lot of stuff going on, some really exciting things going on at the moment. So we're going to cut right into it. Mm -mm. We'll get to the announcements and instructions for the free mentorship uh, at the towards the end of this webinar. All right. India, Croatia, uh, love Croatia, Sweden. Bunch of Americans, bunch of Americans, beautiful. Alaska, Chile, South Africa, awesome. Bulgaria, it's so crazy to me where you guys are trading from. <laughs> that always blows my mind, uh, you know, to see how global this game is and, and to watch it all. Egypt, you know, Norway, so cool. Latvia, to see where everyone's trading from is just amazing to me and how we're all kind of tied together um, through this common thread of trying to get good at this game of trading. Thailand, beautiful. I love to see it. I love to see it. Well, welcome to the stream. If you've never uh, had the opportunity to spend some time with me, welcome. Okay, we're gonna get into this very, very quickly. I don't, I don't do the bullshit game. All right, I don't do the small talk game. Um, when markets are slow, you know, my students and I will have some fun and and shoot the shit. But the rest of the year, it's very serious. This game is very, very serious to me. That's why I'm back on YouTube. Um, you know, I watch people charge a lot of money for very basic fucking information and then they teach it wrong. So it's kind of upsetting to me, you know, just uh, charging you all for the basics that I learned basically through Google and investopedia.com, you know, just like hard work, grunt work. And now people are just kind of chat GBT relaying very generic cookie cutter information on how to trade to y'all. Um, and I think, and I believe missing some really, really key elements that are the reason they're not profitable. So that's the idea of what's going forward. We're going to, uh, all that stuff that took me a long time to Google and, and find the right way to do it through the trading itself. Uh, we're going to cut through a lot of the learning curve for you over the next 30 days. Um, and for a lot of my students that I have, I end up with a lot of students that, you know, I've never liked trading noobs. I just haven't. That's why I've not done that much YouTube. Uh, Y'all are a pain in the ass to teach. You know, there's a lot of things that you need to learn. Um, and like I said, it's all free. You can find it for free, but people charge you for it. So I'm going to teach you for free. If that sounds good to you guys, uh, go ahead and smash that like. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, we're going to put a link. I think if Tanner's in here, we can start throwing links into the chat so people can uh, start getting situated. Um, essentially, we're going to be giving you guys uh, access to the free discord. I'm going to be doing free watch list for the next 30 days every morning. Um, you're going to, this pre-market prep, you're going to get 30 days of that. Okay. It's not going to be on YouTube every day, but you're going to be able to get access to that every day for the next 30 days. We're doing a lot of stuff. All right. Um, so it's going to, it's really exciting to me. And then along with that video lessons, Okay, just trying to get you from knowing nothing if you know nothing. Um, if you've had experience, that's fine. But to having a semblance of trading process when all is said and done, and it's a big deal what we're doing, right? Um, that being said, that's what we're doing. Smash that like. Now let's get into actual pre-market prep quickly, like I said. Um, but for those who are, aren't going to be around once the market opens, I don't want you to miss the announcement. Um, I am going to, at the end of this video, I'll put a link right under the description uh, that'll get you to the sign up link for the free mentorship for the next 30 days. Okay, it's the entire month of April. Let me see. Um, you will have your own dedicated homepage on the site in which I'll be dropping exclusive lessons and you'll you will see exactly it's going to flow really really well over the next 30 days and for some of you hopefully it's going to take you from like i said literally nothing hopefully having a semblance of process and then more importantly understanding all the dangers that you're going to face and all the actual no bullshit uh hacks and 
little tricks that I know of to get you there faster, all right? Because in trading, there are two learning curves. One, are, one is the basics. Why have I never really wanted to teach the basics? Like I said, I've specialized over my career in helping traders that have a year, two years of experience, um, but then usually reach a wall with whoever their mentor is, get to that next level. You know, uh, people like Jack, Dom, Huddy, and those guys, uh, and now, you know, a, a new crop of students that are, have been doing really, really amazing these, these last uh, few months. That's, that's kind of what I've specialized in. But now, I'm like, fuck that. You know, I'm sick of fixing broken traders, even though that's what I'm going to be doing forever. You know, it'd be great to get some newer traders and just get you guys the information that you need for free. So that's what I'm doing for y'all. <clears throat> CXAI yesterday, okay? Amazing push. We talked about it yesterday. They had a really good catalyst. Oh, not last but not least, started a $3,000 for the first time small account challenge. I've done 5K successfully in the past, uh, but we started with three. $3,000 cash account. It's going to be, uh, it's also going to be part of this next 30 days is getting to watch me try to grow this small account or fail and, and start driving Ubers to re, uh, to re, re up that account back to 3,000. <laughs> Whatever happens, right? I can't guarantee anything ever. It's the markets. Um, it's been a long time since I've traded an, an account this size. Uh, but a lot of people bitch about it, that if they only had more capital, they could do better. And while to a certain extent that's true when you know what you're doing, when you don't, it makes no difference. You're going to lose more capital. So that's what we're doing. Going to be doing that. Um, tickers wise, again, Things had been way slower for about two weeks, okay? This is really important stuff we're about to speak about. Things have been way slower for about two to three weeks in terms of small cap in my eyes in March. The last three weeks of March were slow, okay? Much, much slower than January, much, much slower than February, okay? And because of that, if you hadn't adjusted, a lot of people I know were losing money to the long side, right? I tried to keep my students in uh, apprised of the fact that things had shifted. And that is how trading works, okay? It doesn't matter what you're trading, small cap, big cap, options, no strategies around every day. There's nothing that's easy every single day. There's no easy money every single day, okay? The patterns shift and they ebb and flow. The momentum, it ebbs and flows, okay? The momentum, it ebbs and flows as well. In terms of, in terms of, are the shorts, are we generally seeing all day faders on these tickers or are we generally seeing them squeeze? Okay. In my experience, 90, 80 or 90% of the time we're seeing them fade. At the end of the day, when we get to these tickers that are gapping, uh, and let's get to some fresh gappers as well while we're at it. Sorry. Here's my scan, all right? Here's my scan for the morning. You can't, can you see that? Nice, you can. Look at this scan, y'all. $50,000 volume, percent change five. That's nothing. That's no parameters. That's any stock that's had $50,000 go through it. Dollar volume, there's volume. That's how many shares are being traded. Dollar volume, take that, and then amount it by the price that it's being traded out, essentially, um, throughout the day. And that's how much money is going through the ticker. Okay, so filtering for just fifty thousand in dollar volume, we've got twenty four tickers or so here. I see immediately just looking at this, I see for some reason energy stocks. So maybe someone could let me know in chat what's going on there. Is there some sort of macro that's driving oil? Some sort of macro that's driving energy right now, right? Last time we had a big big oil run. Last time we had a big big oil run was like twenty twenty two April, right? I believe. 2022. Um, is this a split? What's up with Vivo Power? We're going to go through tickers, okay? We're going to go through tickers pretty quickly. We actually are running out of free market time already. That noise. Anyways, not that much volume, um, not that many tickers gapping. 
I'd imagine spies gapping down today. Hmm, indeed it is. A fat gap down, okay? Um, it's funny. That's been the market this year. Um, I can tell when I get to my scan if markets are gapping up or down this, these days, okay? Very low dollar volume, not that many tickers. Uh, VVPR, a top percent gainer this morning, unless it's just a split. I don't think it is. Based on the volume, that looks like a legit percent gainer. Uh, their news, got to check out Catalyst. We're going to go through a pre-market process really fast, okay? Announced binding heads of agreement to merge Tembo and the NASDAQ listed CCTS at in the negative 838 million equity value. Subsidiary will merge with CCTS, Cactus Acquisition Corp, which I'm sure is a SPAC, definitely is a SPAC. They'll be serving an entity, blah, 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 23 million cash on hand, blah, blah, blah. It's merger news. It's MA news, okay? MA news on VVPR. Do I like MA news when it's moving stocks? You know, those, those of you who are newer have so much to learn in terms of your perspective and what this game is all about, right? And those who are on YouTube are generally newer traders. Um, things change so rapidly in these markets, right? The runners, I mean, we're talking small cap, big cap, doesn't matter what price the tickers are. These are the top percent gainers. These are the only stocks that are up at all today, right? On any sort of volume on any sort of volume. So today, days like today can be easier at times, actually. This, the, these markets have had a lot of runners. Slow for three weeks of March. This is the main point we need to get to right now for, for what's happening right now. Um, slow for the month of March after an absolutely torrent, November, December, January, February, and first week of March, right? Um, I've got a student that made millions in March. Millions, right? In March alone. Um, but a lot of that trading was pre-market, okay? A lot of these runners have been massive pre-market runners uh, that then become all-day faders. That was the story of March, right? Uh, outside of the last few days. So yesterday, Thursday of last week before Easter weekend, and Wednesday of last week, well, I was at the New York Stock Exchange. And I was at the New York Stock Exchange with a bunch of fucking short sellers, all right? I was the only long there, me and probably 10 really su 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 uh, successful short sellers, okay? The people on the other end of these trades that are short selling into the areas that we're talking about that create the squeeze or not, okay? Or kill the move, one of the two. Or create the pool, right? And they have they confirmed everything that I'm trying to teach you guys about the long side of this game and what happens on the other side of our trades. Confirmed for me 100%, which is that they are winning 80% of the year, 90% of the year, based off of big picture scenario. Like they are shorting gappers and covering them at the close pretty much between that idea and leaving themselves some wiggle room over the pre-market highs. 80% of the year, y'all, they're winning. Okay? The losses come in bunches. Their losses come in bunches. And this is what I teach my students. When we get a runner, it breeds a runner. So I don't really start opening up and getting aggressive until we have runners. Okay? Today, what we're seeing are the markets kind of being dampened by the overall markets, which happens. So let's get into some tickers and some pre-market process. I'm going to move this scan. We've got VVPR as our top percent gainer. All right? I like to go through time frames, starting with the biggest picture. Right? The catalyst is what? MA news. They're merging with the SPAC. Um, is it good news? Well, the stock is reacting as if it is, right? Uh, go through the ticker, go through the volume. I'm looking for big volume days. I'm looking for gap downs. I'm looking for dilution. I'm looking for reverse splits, right? Big volume days. Did this do big volume? Ah, 1 million is not that much. 1.5 is not that much. And no really reaction here. It did gap up here, pop up and drop. Here's a reverse split. They had to do a split to maintain compliance. We talk about this. Um, their split happens to be one for 10. So on October, on October 23rd, October 6th of 2023, 
the stock was trading 10 times lower price or sub one, right? 20 cents or whatever. Divide the price by 10. That's what, what they're trading at. Their float or the amount of tradable shares, which is a very key metric, was 10 times higher, 10x. They were not compliant with NASDAQ, who have a rule that say you must be over a dollar. So they had to do a split, right? That's what that means. It's a fundamental change for this company where they go from bigger float, lower price to lower float, bigger price. That's what you're seeing. Here's this morning. Here's when the M&A news came out. They go 150 to three. They pull back. It looks like within that candle to about 230. We'll pull back towards two. Full breakout, right? To me, this is too extended for me to play on M&A news, even in this market, okay? I start to mark out my levels here um, on the one minute, and then I'm gonna go over bigger time frames and watch to see how these levels look, okay? So I'm looking at three. I'm looking at this area, okay? 375 area as well. I'm looking for areas where price holds and then pushes in a major way. I'm not looking for small areas of support and resistance. And then the easiest way is to essentially just go through your time frames. Five minutes, let's see how that looks, right? You will notice pre-market, you will notice these stocks for, right? Obviously, whole dollars will always be levels of natural somewhat supportive and resistance. You will see as this chart, as these time frames go higher and higher, the stocks start to look more and more extended, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, we we are running a free we're I'm doing this. I'm doing this shit, free market prep for free all week all month, okay? All damn month. Um free lessons, free chat, all that good stuff. Um, here's the link, put it in, put it in there for you. And then at the end, it'll be under the video. If that sounds good to you, make sure to smash a like. I'm just doing this for likes y'all, you know, it's, that's the society we live in. I do it shirtless on Thursdays too. If for those guys who are into that sort of thing, women aren't allowed to watch cause I'm married. I promised my wife I would only, uh, get nude for the dudes. So if you're all about that, make sure to really double smash the like for me. And then one more time, because I think if you do it twice, it'll go away. All right. Jokes, jokes and jokes. Time frames getting extended over higher time frames, right? Um, there's that 375 level. MO for me on these is never, ever, 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 ever. Oh, pre-market high, sorry. And then we've got VWAP right around here. I have days going to be important idea for me across all my plays. If I'm not long already pre-market is going to be let opening range set for the first five, 10 minutes, however long it takes for opening range to set. Okay. Find good risk reward, sell into VWAP, sell into high a day, sell into highs, sell into whatever this chart is going to give me. Okay. Not wait for it to get up here and then buy the breakouts. It's the dumbest damn thing that you can do in this game. And it's what all of you, if you are new, are going to do. And you're going to, if you if someone doesn't tell you this, you're going to do this forever. And I know because I end up with you in two years, you're going to come back to me. Three years, I'm going to end up with you. And I'm going to let you know all your experience is not for nothing, but you've been trading the wrong areas of the chart to the long side. You are literally, if you are this person, I am selling to you when it gets there, hopefully. Okay. This is a really extended for me on the news and you know if it runs it kind of runs without me unfortunately something like this on m a news okay this would really need to pull and and give me a uh, set up for me in other words right um so let's see what else we've got going on again the biggest gappers outside of maybe fr uh, Thursday of last week. And then even yesterday, if you look at the biggest gappers yesterday outside of CXAI, which wasn't even the biggest gapper, the rest of them basically faded for most of the day. Um, you'll catch like, t like midday bounces to towards VWAP and stuff like that. 
but let's see we've got vvpr we've got tpet which is a bottom bouncer looks like okay um we had one yesterday as well somewhat similar mark out some key levels quickly this one popped after hours yesterday right to 15 cents um and we've been seeing these five to 10 cent poppers lately this one popped yesterday from eight to 13 held on and now it's working on a day two got to look at the daily dog shit daily chart right like always propensity for multi-day runs it looks like um gap up spike day here okay gap up spike close about halfway near its highs on volume 60 million gap down here 20 cents to 16 cents that's something of note it's likely an offering particularly the way we've seen some volume come in like yesterday and hold here and previous day and hold here so we're likely into some some offering uh territory here as well this is dilution tracker okay This is what I use to check out uh, filings. Risk is medium. Historically, they're high. Their cash needs high. Mm. October 23 warrants, 50 cents. January 24 warrants, 55 cents. Not registered warrants. Convertible note. January 24 convertible note, 50 cents. A bunch of stuff at 50 cents, it looks like. Um, so that's kind of interesting because the gap down's at 20 cents back in February. Hmm. Uh, idea for me here, nothing too crazy. It would be a single off 20 or a single off 16, right? Very basic stuff on bottom bouncers. Um, like a few more time frames here kind of smash and grab the idea for me in this market right now even though there are you know big percent gainers and stuff is we're still seeing the overall trend of the gappers being faders okay being all day faders so i'm still very likely if i'm hitting any levels on bounces these days to be taking quick profits right i'm not necessarily looking for like free market highs and high of day not all the time tpe t AINC is our next gainer. And I want to know what's going Does anyone know what is going on with the damn oil stocks? TPT is Amex. So is AINC. Both of them are Amex. TPT's floats 20. AINC's floats 1.2. Catalyst. They do have an 8K from this morning, at least. What it is. Proved a transaction whereby the company would affect a reverse uh, stock split of the company's shares in conjunction with terminating the company's public company reporting obligation, delisting the company's common stock from NYSE, subject to obtaining the requisite approval of the company's uh, blah, blah, blah. Specifically, would affect a one for 10,000 reverse stock split, followed by a 10,000 for one forward stock split. That's too much fucking shit for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, if, it, if it's like, if it's too much language like that, I don't. It's just, I'm not 100% sure what the fuck they're doing. They're doing a reverse split and a forward split, and they're not an ASDAQ, and who cares, really, at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Y'all get way too hung up, way too hung up, and this is my experience working with traders over the last decade, um, on each individual ticker. I have eyes on a couple of these tickers from last week. First green day on Sizu, I'm, it's probably the best play of the day, in my opinion. Okay, first green day on Sizu. Um, probably the best play of the day. It popped pretty hard there is the issue. It's hard. if When I'm playing first green day bounces, y'all, uh, I know we're alive into market hours. Generally speaking, this is reserved just for my people and um, 
in the pack. But we are about to run this free 30-day mentorship. So I'm going to give you a few more minutes and then kind of, uh, for those who started later, let them uh, kind of have an idea of what's going forward for the rest of the month. But I do appreciate y'all who are joining me here. If you're enjoying the free, uh, if you're enjoying the free pre-market prep, make sure to smash the like. Um, we'll put links to the free mentorship that we're running throughout the rest of this month in the chat over and over so you can see it. And it will be again in the description so that y'all can get in there. My MO on these when I'm trading first green day bounces, first of all, let me make sure that I. Do not fucking chase it ever. Don't ever chase. You know, if this go, if this just rips, it rips without me. The idea that I'd I'd be working here is this idea of like eight fifty, right? This sort of base, and then, I mean, red green ultimately is, you know, is is that area that you want to see hold on this day. Okay, you get a massive parabolic runner. We get technically this is a red day. Okay. Technically, a closed red on this day. So technically, two red days and a first green day. That that red green level is nine bucks. Okay, the base over across two mornings now is eight fifty. So that's the idea, big picture. Okay, which means I can't chase it up at ten. You know, and it's these are generally this is exactly what most first green days look like. Most you know, for my more experienced traders, you can test to it and. And then the idea is like, I got to kind of buy the pool back towards nine. And it gets scary back there if it were to pull back towards nine right now. But that's the idea, you know? And um, I'm already late on this idea. In other words, you know, unfortunately. I'm going to keep that on watch right here. Um, and start to move on to our next tickers. Let's see what CXAI looks like this morning. Pretty wicked. Gapped it, you know, pretty wicked pools on CXAI for now. Um, on the back of their news from yesterday. Fresh splits this morning. DCFC looks to be a fresh reverse split. Higher price, which means I got to let them fade for a little bit. Hopefully they'll fade back the next few days. Um, Tritium DC, I don't know. And what their old float was 80 mil. They did a one for 200. Wow. Right, so CZ was already, like, in the illiquid fashion, already easy single. Um, the question is, does it get, is it just going to push? The illiquid nature of it right now has me thinking it pulls back towards nine. I'm trying to, y'all, I never had to, like, I've been trading without doing math in terms of can I get this many shares, afford this many shares, for a very long time. And now I'm trying to spend, you know, the next at least two weeks just trading this amount of money to get used to what that risk looks like and what um, the share account, you know, share amounts look like in the math, which is no longer what it used to be, which are metric, like 10,000 shares, 20,000 shares, 5,000 shares. It's changed. So I'm getting used to it, in other words. Smash the like for my small account challenge and for, for giving me some luck here. <laughs> Because if not, like I said, I can, I'm not uh, the plan with. So the problem with someone like me doing a small account challenge is the fact that the the amount of money itself is not that relevant. You know, I could reload and reload and reload. So what I'm doing my best to do is to put myself in the mind frame of it's my last three thousand dollars on Earth, can't lose it, but I also want to grow it as fast as I can. Both, you know. That's what I'm doing. Right now it's a cash account too. Right now it's a cash account. So I don't have to deal with PDT for now. And I'm not trying to risk too cra crazily yet. But at a certain point, I'll be pushing the full might of this account. Yes, indeed. Even like, even if I want to trade CZ right now, you know, I can still get low risk 
use this entire account size because and get a few shares. Okay. A few more minutes and we do got to wrap up. Uh, we're going to move, move over. The Discord. Thirty day mentorship is full. What do you mean it's full? Should not be full. It is capped, but there's no way that we filled it with who was in this chat today. And we just launched it. Tanner in here? Anyone in here by the by chance? My customer service people. There's the first pull on Sizu. That might be it right there. We'll see. But the idea is any illiquid play when I'm trying to do this is just get filled on bid near lows. Reduce risk always, 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 always. Sweet. My team's working on it, y'all. My team's working on it. Again, after the video, um, if there are any uh, technical difficulties, like right now, I'll make sure that the working link is in the description, um, at the top of the description, okay? Let me, let me take a couple peeks at uh, what else we've got going on. Okay, so we've got three fresh splits, DCFC, XXII. There's an oldie but goodie. They make like uh, smoking cessation stuff. Traded them many times over the years. Fresh split for them. Um, one for 16. NRXP. Fresh split for them. A lot of splits, you guys. And this is what's amazing is... Fixed. Sweet. Link's fixed, y'all. Um... See, I see weed on my sector again too. I see weed on my watch list again too for some reason. Oh, CGC first green day it looks like. Bigger floats. Check VVPR. What are they doing? Oh shit! They held their level. Damn. And again. You know, this is what we were talking about, right? Really quick reversal, which was the same thing yesterday on CXAI. You know, CXAI was a four minute reversal, I think, yesterday, which is generally speaking a little too quick for me. I like to let the range set for five or 10 minutes, generally speaking. Yeah, three minute reversal. Very similar to uh, what we're seeing on VVPR this morning. If you look right at the patterns and this is what i talk about like the patterns they ebb and flow and they go from day to day so maybe i should have been a little bit more on the dip buy on vvpr this morning you know and now billy's buying it right we call billy this person whoever's buying it right now on vvpr that's who i call billy aka used to be me as well all right so this person right here that just bought it. And maybe they get a big squeeze today. That'd be cool, right? But generally speaking, the reward, first of all, where's this thing going? This person doesn't know at all. They just know it's going up <laughs> and it broke higher and it's going higher. And that's all you know. What you don't know is that when this doesn't work, it's going down here. And you bought the top, the tippy top. And we are in the fucking game of buying low, selling high. Right, this this idea here right now is what keeps new traders sucking for so long. And when it does work, the few times it does work out of the week, maybe once a week or twice a week for a small period of time when it does work, um, or maybe you get stopped out, or maybe you don't get stopped out, and you're like holding bags, and then it works later in the day. Those sorts of ideas um, are not sustainable. There's no margin for error. There's no fucking margin for error up here. You got to cut it. You got to be right. 
It's got to work. You have to buy strength and sell strength to make money most of the time. Or you have to buy the strength and buy the weakness to the thing and then cut when it doesn't work. Or you have to size way down to account for uh, opening up range. Or you have to get chopped around at the breakout level. There's like so many damn things, right? So to me, this is all chasey. There's no good risk reward in this scenario, okay? I hope it goes to 10. That's the whole thing you have to understand too. I'm not a hater either. Like, I hope it doesn't work because this is, I hope he gets fucked. I, I go for this guy. I really hope he makes money today. I always do. But I know it's not going to be sustainable for him or her over time. Um, what's sustainable is figuring out a way to buy there. Right there, I should have been long off of my support area if I have enough conviction to do it. And selling here and being and and here's the difference for me the difference is well risk fucking reward right it's a concept that was very foreign to me for a very 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 long time which is if i'm working levels like this or like this and i get tight risk reward i'm getting you know back to that level i'm already getting one to five one to six right up here i'm getting one to ten one to twenty okay but look at this cat, even where the, he's buying, if you're risking breakout level and you're buying it up here, you're just now getting one to three on your money. You know what I mean? Hello? Sorry, wife is calling me. Sweet breakout, that being said. Sweet move on VVPR, right? You won't, call, you won't ever catch me buying that shit where that is, right? This is the fruit of great, to me, the fruit of the great entries is astronomical risk reward, okay? Um, missed the dip buy this morning. Best move of the day. And what this does is make me want to continue to be more aggressive, okay? This does not give me FOMO. If you're sitting there like, oh, I should have fucking bought it at like where this fucking guy is. No, you shouldn't. No, you fucking shouldn't. Over time, over time, that's what's going to fuck you. Okay? Over time. Um, especially once you guys start to understand big picture of what we're dealing with when we trade these things. All right? At least for me. Okay. So nice move for VVPR there. Again, but that's like, to me, that's the trade. If I'm buying this, I sold, and that's the fucking trade right there. You got like two minutes to sell it when it's when it's strong. Um, you know? You're leaving, big boy? Come here, hurry up. Give me a hug. I love you so much. Be sure to give grandma a big hug and kiss, okay? She's going to get to get on play today. Hey, be good at school. Ah, shit. Y'all see that? Beautiful first green day bounce. That's how they work. They were liquid at first. They push. It's a first green day. They pull back towards green, red, red, green. That's basically it, right? So first dip held nicely there and absolutely beautiful first green day bounce there. Right? Absolutely fucking beautiful. That is absolutely perfect. And then for me, I go back on this. I go on the 30 minute chart or the hour chart when it's been four or five days already. Where's that last resistance that I need to see? I don't know, 12 bucks. 14 bucks, right? Very basic ideas. Um, 30 minute chart. Tell me about the same thing, probably 12 bucks, 13 bucks. Did they halt up? Boom. Boom. Who has some? Anyone from the pack get some Sizu? Where's B Han? I can almost guarantee you he has some. Um, 
What a beautiful fucking first Green Day move. That's absolutely beautiful. Right? Love it. Markets are better this week. Markets have been better since ABTX and Sizu in particular, right? We didn't have any follow through for like three or four weeks. We had gappers and faders. Shorts get really comfortable. Shorts get really comfortable, okay? Making money every day on faders. And then out of nowhere, we get big blow off shorts. Uh, short squeezes. Sizu, ABTX, okay? AVTX, which is working, which is red today, which is trying to push green, but it is red today. Um, still, Cizu, okay. Uh, even CXAI yesterday, I believe, was feeding off the energy. Okay, breakout hold yesterday on CXAI. So this tells me to I'm going to be quicker on the dip buys on the good tickers tomorrow morning. That's what this tells me. Right, it's not going to leave me with FOMO. It leaves me excited. It gets me excited to trade this, to build this small account. <laughs> it gets me excited for overnights and and reverse split pumps and and all the strategies that I teach that have just been literally circulating in and out of play all year. It gets me excited to be around for pre market tomorrow, and it gets me excited for everything that we're fucking doing right now. It gets me excited for this thirty day mentorship. Um, the the beginning of this year has been marked by tragedy for me and struggle and uh and lack of consistency and my only goal right now is to be completely immersed uh in the teaching and in the trading so that's what this that's what april's about to me right first month of q2 of 2024 q1 was absolutely amazing the end of it at the end of march a little bit of a lull but Clearly, the markets are still here, okay? Clearly, the runners are still here. Uh, the pumpers are still here. The patterns, they're all still here. The penny stocks, y'all, you know? The penny stocks, the small cap stocks that people dog on for being a scam, I'm gonna teach you why they're a scam, you know, over the next 30 days and how then you're able to take advantage of that scenario. Okay. Love you. Call me when you get home. I'll send you the info. Okay. All right. Love you. That's my mama. Came in town uh, for Easter weekend and spent some time with her grandkids. And what a woman, you know, she, uh, I lost my dad in January, but he had a heart attack in June of last year and was rendered use not useless but like uh couldn't walk couldn't do anything you know like uh diapers and the whole nine couldn't do anything on his own for until he passed in january so for basically six months my seven year old mother who's i don't think you saw her but she's like little korean woman about yay high took care of my dad i mean lifted him around brought him to bed uh was his primary caretaker like, I mean, you've never seen strength like that in a person. It was fucking phenomenal. Absolutely amazing human. Um, so that's what April's about. You know, my family. Um, honoring my father. Taking advantage of this amazing market. Amazing, amazing market. Any questions? Any questions? If not, we are going to wrap up this stream this morning. Again, for those who dog on small cap stocks, if you can't tell me why they're garbage, you're just an ignorant idiot to me. You know, if you can't tell me, well, if you're like, oh, because they, they're a scam, then you're an idiot to me. You know, you're just ignorant and you're missing out on 
the only opportunity that these markets can give you of growing small accounts with edge predict predictably over time, in my opinion. You know, options are great. I think probably the second best would be some of the options ideas, but they're high risk too, you know, and you're battling other elements, right? Time decay. Um, and then still basing it off of an underlying asset. So there are a lot of things uh, that can go wrong with options as well. Futures, I'm not very, I'm not too, uh, I know some successful futures traders, you know. Forex is collapsing the entire industry, if you've seen, period. Don't care what anyone says. And if you're Forex guru or something's telling you otherwise, I guarantee you they're about to start fucking trading futures so that they can push funded accounts because that's all, to me, futures and Forex are about, you know. And then they say penny stocks are a scam. So to me, it's like, okay. It's crazy, okay? Small cap is a scam. That's exactly what I teach. And what, but, it's a, but it's a scam that you can take advantage of when you know what it is. Because they tell you what the scam is. They tell you exactly what it is and why they do what they do. And then if you know how to position yourself correctly, the best place to be. It's basic fucking math. They move the most and they're the cheapest. It's the most basic math you can do. If you think you're going to have Edge trading, you know, Microsoft and Tesla and this and that, and then you're going to take a small amount of money and turn it into a bigger amount of money, well, you have very big fucking issues with understanding basic arithmetic and how math works. You know, how many shares can you take? How far is that stock going to go over the next year? Right? What, 5, 10, 15% your stock's going to move over the span of two years or some shit? We have tickers that move 200, 300, 400% intraday, 1,000% intra week. And my job is to take the small predictable part that I can take off of lows. Low enough. It gives us everything that we need. Okay? If you've enjoyed the stream, please smash the like. Uh, again, we're running a free 30-day mentorship. No one in the space has ever done this. They're not going to do it because they want to charge you for this shit, for the basic chat GBT nonsense. I'm not even going to use chat GBT. I'm going to teach you what I know about the basics of stock trading off the dome, a lot of live streams and stuff like that. Um, free pre-market prep every day for the next... 28 days or however many days are in April. Free video lessons every day. We're going to be dropping uh, YouTubes as well. Um, free watch lists in the mornings. Free access to the, our uh, Discord. Bunch of stuff. All right. Don't miss out on it. I'm only going to do it this April. The body of work should hopefully be uh, here on YouTube for a long time. You know, as kind of like a my beginner series because I've never done one. Like I said, I don't. I've not. I've always felt like the basics of stock trading you can Google and figure out. But now I watch like the YouTubes that people are teaching on the basics, and it's there's a lot that they're missing or trying to teach that's bullshit. So that's the idea. All right. Any questions How about that? Yeah, Carlos, I mean, throughout this and throughout the 30 days, we'll be working DT, we'll be working dilution, we'll be working fundamentals, big picture, macro shit. The most important things start big picture first, okay? Uh, everything else is, you know, all the charts and once you get into the minute charts and stuff, that's a lot of noise for the most part. If you don't have a good solid idea of what you are trading, you know, uh, how just exactly why it's a scam, how they scam us, how they scam retail, how they dump on retail, where they dump on retail. If you understand these concepts, it's gonna take you forward, I promise. You're gonna immediately have edge over 90% of retail longs. What else?
questions. Yeah, if you're already in the free Discord, it's there, but there is a separate page, though, I believe. I believe that this has this this program has its own separate page, so you may want to still register. I'm not sure. I, I'll let you guys know in the free chat if there's something else you need to do too. Can a recent reverse split run without news? Of course, yes. Yes, they can. How to join the Discord? Just hit that link. The link to uh, the free mentorship. Are we getting access to the day trading guide? Yep, to the old one. You absolutely are. We'll be leaking out uh, chapters for you throughout this 30 days, trying to get you caught up. I'm, like I said, it's going to be an uh, all-encompassing sort of idea. I'm going to get you more informa information that people would literally charge you thousands of dollars for. Thousands and thousands of dollars for, okay? All right, my friends. Well, we're going to wrap up. Um, thank you so much for joining me this morning uh, for my wolves. I'll catch you in the Discord here in a second. Um, thanks for bearing with me here on, on the stream as well. Again, 30 days, y'all. Smash the like. It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. And then we'll be left with a body of work here on YouTube um, that people should be able to hopefully come to for some guidance, some free guidance for a long time, okay? So I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm excited to show you all what's possible, okay? And we'll go from there. Markets are amazing right now. So much fucking potential here, okay? Get your shit together. I'll see you guys over the next month. Peace.